Okay, this is a video to talk about trigonometric proofs. And the difference between a trigonometric proof and simplifying a trigonometric expression is that we have a target. So where previously we would take this and we would simplify it down to uh, cotangent t uh, through a series of steps, and the instruction would have been to simplify it. Now we are going to know in advance what our target is. So we are going to say that we can prove that this expression is equal to cotangent t. And then we're going to go through exactly the same steps that we did when we uh, took this and simplified it. So there are just some formatting issues that uh, you need to adhere to for me. So the first thing is that the proof will, the steps will be numbered as in a two column proof. And then outside of that, it really should look exactly like, like it did when you simplified it. So I'm going to take the expression down and make that my first step. And this is another formative element, is that the first step will always be given. And you, so your first step will always be either you're selecting the left side of the equation or you are selecting the right side. So you must, this needs to be your first step or this needs to be the first step. And there will never be an equal sign in any of the statements for the step. So you're just taking an expression and there will not be an equal sign anywhere in the step. So you've chosen a side and now you are going to operate upon that expression until you get it to look like what you're trying to prove. So uh, the next step here might be this. So I'm going to take the secant uh, and multiply by 1 plus secant t minus tangent t times tangent t. And then all of that is over tangent t times 1 plus secant t. And that is, what did we do there? I mean, we, I would say we, we subtracted with a common denominator. And that's how I would, I would describe that, that second step. The uh, third step here, I'm going to go ahead and expand and simplify. So I'm going to have, uh, well, there won't be anything to simplify, so I'm just going to expand this. So secant t plus secant squared t minus tangent squared t over uh, the tangent t 1 plus secant t. And you can see that this is just no different than when we simplified the expression. And then my reason here, what did I do? I multiplied. Really, that's all I did. I multiplied the f first term. I multiplied this term out, and I multiplied that term. And that's all we did. So that'll be my statement of reason for this step. Okay, moving along to a step four. Uh, in this case, we've got uh, secant squared uh, t minus tangent squared t, which we'll simplify. To one. One plus secant. T 
over tangent t times 1 plus secant t. All right, and now we see, well, first of all, just understand, we said that is equal to 1, and that's coming from a Pythagorean identity. And I think that's all we did in that step, right? So we'll label that as Pythagorean identity. And then step 5 will be 1 over tangent t, because we are dividing and canceling these, right? So that'll be division. And step six is cotangent t. And we're finished. And that was accomplished with a reciprocal identity. And we've completed the proof. So you see it, it looks exactly like simplifying. I am adding uh, the numbers, so I am numbering the steps. Uh, there's never, the, an equal sign is never introduced in any step. So if you do this and you follow my instructions here, you'll never have this problem that some students have of they, they use an equal sign and they set up a step and then they somehow use a property of equality within the proof. But there should never be an, a property of equality used and it should not be a problem because there should never be an equal sign. So that is think all the information that you need to get rolling with doing trigonometric proofs.